Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with If I Could Choose Only One Recording by Artist W. It would have to be Work B. So, Artist W is Sir Adrian Bolt. Sir Adrian. And Work B is Vaughn Williams' Job, A Mask for Dancing. Now, Bolt really specialized in British repertoire, as we all know. He knew all of those composers who we learned to love at the beginning of the 20th century. Vaughn Williams and Elgar and Holst and Bax. And, you know, he did The Planets five million times and actually recorded the premiere. And you might think that The Planets would be the, the work to choose. Um, it could have been. It very easily could have been. But I think, um, on balance, his dedication to Vaughn Williams' Job was just as profound, and it is such a magnificent work. It needed the advocacy. You know, the planets, the planets everybody does, and a lot of people do it very, very well. Job, nobody does. Well, it, now people do, of course, because Vaughn Williams has taken off, largely because of Adrian Bolt. And so if I had to tell the evil god Cancrasans, who wants to destroy all of classical music, but for one recording per artist and one work per composer, um, I think in this case, actually, the one work is Job as well. So we may be, we may be doubling up a little bit. Um, I, I confess that may be the case. But listen, if it's the right pick, it's the right pick. There's nothing I can do about that. And I know... I know that when Kankrazan sees just how fabulous Job is, if he hasn't heard it yet because of the other list, um, he will agree. He will definitely agree. Job is arguably Vaughn Williams' orchestral masterpiece. I mean, the symphonies are wonderful. Uh, he wrote a lot of masterpieces. Let's not, let's not, you know, be parsimonious, dishing out the uh, masterpiece label to uh, his works because he was a very, very great composer. But but Job is extraordinary. It's really a tone poem on the subject of Job. Yes, it's supposed to be a ballet. I've never seen anyone dance it. I don't know if anyone wants to dance it. I don't know what it would look like if you danced it. I don't think it makes any difference if you dance it. The music is so fabulous all by itself. In fact, I don't think it has anything to gain by being danced in all honesty. Like a lot of ballets, like the Rite of Spring or things that we are, we are used to hearing in, in orchestral context. It has both that gorgeous, modal, warm, rich, thrilling, noble melody that Vaughn Williams cultivated that we love so much from the Talus Fantasia, but it also has something of the edge and the harshness in Satan's music and the music for, you know, the hypocrites who go to Job and, you know, give him advice and all that stuff, and the vision of Satan enthroned. I mean, some of that you know, harshness that entered his language with the Fourth Symphony around you know, the interwar period, you know, or World War II in that area. So it's really got everything, everything that you want to hear in a work by Vaughn Williams. And Adrian Bolt recorded it at least four times. There were two recordings on EMI, one on Westminster, one on Everest. I mean, they're all very good. They really are. But I think if I had to pick one, of course, and I have to pick one, the one I would choose is his last from 1970. First, because it has the the best sound. I mean, really has the best sound. It's beautifully recorded. It's one of those vintage, rich, wonderful EMI recordings. It's here. It's in this box um, of Adrian Bolt and Vaughn Williams. And let me see what orchestra is it. I think it was the LSO. I don't think it was the LPO, but I could be wrong. So let me check and give you the, the actual correct. Uh, let's see here. We've got Pilgrim's Progress. We've got Job, there it is. That's the BBC Symphony? No, that's 46. Pardon me. That's the earlier one. Because he was with the BBC originally. That's, that's where he started out. And then he was forcibly retired at the age 65. And then he made all his great records. Ha ha. Take that, BBC. Uh, let's see. Wasp. Up oh, there it is. London Symphony. Yes. 1970. Kingsway Hall. Gorgeous sonics. And quite frankly, um, wonderful playing too. Because, you know, Bolt was not a disciplinarian. He really wasn't. I mean, he cared, obviously, about keeping everything together. But, he, you know, he always had a certain naturalness and flow and a certain relaxed attitude toward ensemble, um, even though he was kind of grumpy at times. But he, he, he got his orchestras to play with heart. 
And I mean, I mean, you know, you, you know, Von Williams is full of effects and things, you know, harps and tam-tam crashes and percussion and things. All of that's vivid. All of it comes out. He was certainly not inhibited, not in any way. You know, he had the, he had the reputation of being a sort of stiff upper lip Britisher guy, you know, like Elgar too. You know, he sort of, sort of looked like an old retired military person. But that wasn't, that wasn't his, his interpretive persona at all. It really wasn't. He just wanted a natural, sensitive, heartfelt, musical performance. And that's what he gets. And that is my pick. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.